Hey, you see, I'm Gabby. And I'm Ekra. I'm so pale, you can use me, you can use me to build a sandcastle. And I'm not pale. Stay tuned for the forecast. Congrats to the Isu girls basketball team who advanced to the state championship game with a win of 57 to 47 win over Lakeville North last night. They will play for the state title on Saturday night at 8 p.m. at Target Center against Hopkins. Tickets are $9 for students and are available at Target Center. The District 196 I sets wrapped up their season with several shows last week. Kara has the story. Figure skating, a sport that relies on beauty, grace, and most of all, skates. The Isets are a district-wide figure skating team. The Isets face many difficulties due to the nature of the sport. Well, ice skating is it's very hard um, on your body and it's also very hard to do artistically. Um, it's a lot about your emotion. You kind of have to put emotion into the music and you also have to deal with being able to jump, being able to spin, and doing it for quite a long course of time without getting a rest. Despite these difficulties, the Isets love what they do. I really like the like adrenaline that you get of like skating out there for people and it's also really fun to like get ready for the competition and stuff with your best friends. My favorite thing about skating is just meeting everyone and getting really involved with the community because you meet so many new people and so many new personalities and you get to really learn a lot about yourself. I really love performing and going out there with your best friends. Like it's just it's probably my favorite thing in the world, honestly. I started in sixth grade and I never stopped. I'm going to miss it so much. Signing off from the forecast, this is Kara. Next Tuesday at Eastview, the Young Entrepreneur Society presents Josiah Keneally, an Eastview graduate and author of the best-selling financial book, Debtless. He will be speaking on helping students take on less debt and steps to achieve financial freedom. All Eastview students and parents interested in less debt should come and listen. Congrats to the EVA Chess boys basketball team on a fantastic effort last night as they came up short to Apple Valley 84-69 in the section, sh section championship game. It brought an end a successful season that ended with a section runner-up finish. Congrats to all team members and coaches on a great accomplishment. Today, we're recognizing another great ESU teacher. Here's the Teacher of the Week. I've been at Eastview for four years. Previous to that, I taught in St. Paul at a performing arts high school for three years. I often say I combined what my mom does in education with what my dad does in numbers to create a high school math teacher. This year I teach Algebra II, Honors Pre-Calculus, and AP Calculus AB. Previously, I've also taught Intermediate Algebra for ninth graders, as well as Algebra II concepts. I grew up in, in Prairie and also went to a very large suburban high school. In fact, even Prairie is even larger. But I think Eastview, both the students, community, and the teachers do a very good job at helping each student find their place, whether it's in their place in the classroom or with activities. We do a very good job at making each student feel welcome. After the story was made, we were informed that Mr. Kemp is in the hospital with a brain tumor. He'll be undergoing surgery to remove it. Please send positive thoughts his way. Back to Gabby. If you love a great book, join Eastview Girls Read to discuss Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. It's a quirky, serious, sweet story from the 1980s. Read it over spring break and join. Please contact Ms. Hansen if you plan to attend so she can get the right number of donuts. And we'll leave you with the quote of the day. Old ways won't open new doors. <laughs> 